act right, me step left, select the next candidate. Girl, if you want me, here I am. then you can have me. Nation, that song is hot out there right now. Featured on Russian's Dirty Money Rhythm, the revamp of Coco Club Rhythm. The song is titled The Continental by Nike Boy. Most are saying that the song is the best song featured on the Dirty Money Rhythm. I know some people not too like the comparison thing, but at the end of the day, even if you don't want to compare, others are going to do it. And others are saying that despite that the song was done by a visually impaired man, it is the best song featured on the Dirty Money Rhythm. No profanities, no bag of slack talk, no coming a face, no coming a throat, no coming a yibal. Nothing like that, just a damn good song, well put together, well structured, full of melody, lyrics, flow, everything that is needed to make a damn good song. Sharing is caring, so you got to share me, say so you like that chocolate, Ooh. So as stated, some are saying it is the best song featured on the Dirty Money Rhythm. Once again, I know some people not too like the comparison, but, but people are going to always compare. See Jada and Shensia who seem as if they will be featured on the... People already are compared to which is better. And here is Jada Kingdom. Most people are give it to Jada Kingdom, although there seems to be a little agenda against Shensia, you know, which she crossing over to rap music. I don't think it's necessarily she crossing over. I think it's more how she bash the people and because the people are never too pleased with her doing rap. Remember at a point, Chensia even stated that that's why she not too fuck with Caribbean people because them dumb as fuck. But I guess that was just online social media users getting on top of Chensia's nerve during her life. But the two songs, they are really good. And not just them two, they alone, you know. We also have Maka Diamond. As a matter of fact, maybe those three will be officially featured on the instrumental. According to Russian though, Dropping a few ladies on the dirty money rhythm, then it is closed off. Too much, you know. I'm stressed out. Russian was wondering when I got out the door, because it seemed as if I roughly 20, 25, 30 songs upon the damn rhythm. The entertainment feed community stated thoughts on that moving on. Nation news is now circulating that entertainer, veteran entertainer, Coco T. He recently passed. This is Pinkwall sharing the news, stating that she is waiting on confirmation. This is viral over on TikTok. Famous record artist Coco T died in his sleep due to serious health problems. Coco T died leaving his 11 kids and 14 grandkids. Even if people in the comment section see someone stating that he's ill, not dead, thanks much. Someone replying to that person stating that he passed away today in Florida. Next person stating that he passed so sad. He lived life. My condolences to his family. But the entertainment feed community, according to Irie FM, Jamaican reggae singer and songwriter Coco T is alive despite circulating rumors. Reliable sources tell Irie FM that reggae singer Coco T is not dead, contrary to some media reports. Sources say the veteran singer is in hospital in Florida. Information remains sketchy, but it is understood that his condition is serious. However, reports of his demise are untrue. More updates, dancehall artist Popcorn slapped with 5 charges. This one is courtesy of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Dancehall artist Andre Sutherland, otherwise called Popcorn, was slapped with 5 charges on Thursday, January the 4th, which is today of course. Mr. Sutherland attended the Area 5 Police Headquarters, where he was served with 5 summons. And why was Popcorn slapped with 5 charges? Well, as you see, it has to do with his behavior. At the staging of Unruly Fest in Yala, St. Thomas, between Friday, December the 22nd and Saturday, December the 23rd, 2023, he was charged with the following offenses. 1. Breach of the Noise Abatement Act. 2. Threats. 3. Using abusive and calumnious language. 4. Using indecent language. And 5. Disorderly conduct. He is to appear in St. Thomas Parish Court in Morant Bay on Wednesday, the 10th of January to answer to these charges. Futa hype reacting to the news, he had this to say. And someone in the music still has said my labor rights, kiss my teeth. The way how them a fight reggae and dancehall, them could have never get my votes, you must have mad. Futa I understand what you say, but I don't feel like this is a JLP PMP problem, honestly. Nation, 
Not going to speak of the entertainer's name, but a dancehall entertainer during one of his most recent performance. The entertainer performer. And somehow, I don't even know how to put this. Still, just know that this is one of the reasons. And I don't know how this happened because, because despite I don't agree with these entertainers wear them pants alone. Not all of them in about most of them just have this type of style where it don't look good. But despite me not agreeing with them style. I never see one of them a performance something like that happen to them. You will see it in the video I'm about to show. But I have never seen an entertainer performance that happen. Despite me not agree with them wearing them pants below them with a certain kind of way. But I never see an entertainer performance something like this happen. It have me a wonder if this entertainer did that on purpose. The entertainment feed community enough for my damn chattings. Check out the video. Look on the entertainer's waist. Look at him pants. Pass them on the dance, tell her she for jazz I'm a commoner, she know I want to eat fried Me not swimming her, I pour a bop on and then I bust them on the lap <laughs> Ice a chip like a dipping sauce Rollers check the cast, dick be my flipping pass Up down, yell a dance, but she wouldn't hit me hot Money from mine, all the thing, all the killer Money's life, money, money, line The man a prefer man in private part to drop out a door I don't understand We are in the pants pan in the waist man, god damn Nation, this is one as you just start circulating on social media and this is what it says Beanie Man and Camille now engaged after 23 years of friendship The people never say a 23 year relationship Cause I see some people over in the comment section stating that They never for 23 years The people never say them there for 23 years after a 23 year friendship Maybe that was an actual proposal, maybe it is a promise ring, who could tell? We're not certain, but still, the clip is now circulating on social media. Nation, they war with the six and the sevens over in Trinidad. It didn't look pretty. But Cayman Six, that's how artist Cayman Six. Cayman seemed to not realize the danger of the games that they might play. Them don't know the game that they might play. Or these are not dancehall artists, these are gangsters, so they might take up dancehall music because how them go about it, how them look at it. They might deal with it like over in a Chicago. Here is Cayman Six after his uh, Comrades got shot and killed the other day and he missed it just by an inch. Game on 6 is once more on social media a show that are outside him there and him don't fear a damn soul. The look on the entertainer's face though, it a tell a completely different story from where him actually a tell way. The entertainer seems as if he is kind of worried. So I don't care go live outside him. Why oh, you them talk the talk? You don't ever see them going live outside him. I am afraid to go live outside. Look behind them. But I didn't go in live and see a daylight like this at all. Inside, in studio. I would have taken shit up well, man. They go live outside. Come on, my life with all that talk. Or they go live outside like me. Let me see where he is. As I said before, I don't know if we're gangsters will take up this dancehall music thing. But if you look at these dancehall entertainers, apart from one and two of them, yes, we actually in you know, the streets are give themselves problem. But most of these entertainers will sing about this and that. Them now actually live that the life there. Even if some of them maybe are linked with certain kind of people and again certain kind of people money for this and that. You don't hear them in the streets like how Una deal with it. You don't hear them constantly get gunned down like when over Trinidad deal with it. Come on now. 
When I have to make up on the mind, power, no one do. If a bad man thing, no one do. I heard the music, no one do. Then again, just the other day, your friend come out and I say, some of them just are sing it. Them not actually live it. Meaning say, yes, you no one live it. Only no just want sing it. So, what am I to be here talking? We have witnessed yet another disappointing staging of reggae sting. And the blame for the 2023 failure of sting is now being placed at the feet of dancer legend Bounty Killer. Now, any well thinking person who has followed the history of sting and understand the concept of sting would be able to admit that what happened at the 2023 staging of sting Jamaica had nothing absolutely nothing to do with bounty killer what we saw were the results of poor planning poor execution and lack of responsibility listen to this bounty killer is alleged to force his performance closer to the time he was stating the organizers are stating that the show was running behind and bounty killer should have waited whose responsibility was it to ensure that the show moved on time the organizers what were the responsibilities of the artists slated to perform to honor the obligations of their contractual agreement which was what bounty killer pushed to do he made sure he performed closest to the time he was slated to perform another allegation was that no clash would have taken place if Bounty Killer hadn't gone on stage to perform. Now people, are you telling me that all these people who planned and prepared and were booked to clash would not be allowed to execute on their plans if Bounty Killer had performed when they wanted him to perform as opposed to when he was contractually slated to perform? It is time we understand that still is built on lies and controversy what we saw on that morning was exactly what the organizers wanted that's the easiest way to tell the people who are supposed to collect on that morning that yo you know see show mash up nothing no go on and now the blame is been placed at the feet of one of the very few people who created memorable moments at the 2023 stage in Africa thing. Why are we so evil to you towards each other? Nothing that happened that thing that is negative can be attributed to dance our legend bounty killer. So get that out of the mind. The entertainment field community, you see what time a clock, you see what time an aqua or you can get the car here. And as usual, my people. Hey. Hey.